Hi, sweeties! If you have Instagram, or even if you just have a Wi-Fi connection, <laughs> you know that Starbucks launched a new beverage called the Unicorn Frappuccino. Jesus Christ, that was made for me. <laughs> and obviously, me being in a girl obsessed with unicorns, I was like, oh my god, I need it. Ah, my precious. However, I live in the UK. And if you live in the UK, you know this Frappuccino is not available here. Starbucks thinks people don't like unicorns here or something. <gasps> Thanks, Starbucks. So I needed something else, pink and purple and blue in my life to fill that gap I had in my heart. <laughs> so I decided to dye my hair unicorn frappuccino colors. <laughs> A bit stupid. But that's what YouTube is here for and I like these colors anyway. So today I'm gonna be showing you how I dyed my hair. This color kind of like fading from pink to purple to blue. Inspired by the Frappuccino. <laughs> so before we start, please subscribe because I post videos three times a week. Also give this video a thumbs up because it really helps the channel. You're gonna need Turquoise Temptation by Schwarzkopf or however you pronounce that. Pony by Lime Crime. Pinkissimo by Crazy Color. Any conditioner. A hair dyeing brush. And gloves because you don't want your hands to get stained. <laughs> First things first, I'm gonna start dividing my hair in four sections with hair bands. Mmm, I miss this lilac hair already. <laughs> Damn. I was laughing because I was watching some funny videos while dyeing my hair. So if you see me laughing again in this video, I'm sorry. Now I'm basically just applying some conditioner on my forehead, ears and neck to protect my skin so it doesn't get stained. Now I'm gonna get a little bit of hair and start applying the pink with a hair dyeing brush just on the roots and be careful not to drop it on your face like I did. <laughs> Make sure it's kind of fading so it can blend in nicely with the next color. Then I'll get the purple hair dye and apply it just under the pink with my hands. I'll try to make sure there's no clear line in between colors and they are blended in nicely. So I'm kind of going to do this movement. Now we can put the blue on the ends. It's really strange this hair dye because right now it looks quite light blue and that was my intention. But then later it got quite dark, you will see in a minute. Yeah, look at that, it's dark now, how comes? <laughs> anyway, always try to wipe your hands in between colors so you don't get them too mixed up and then just repeat the same process throughout the whole hair. Once it's ready, just leave it in for 30 minutes and rinse it off. Let me know in the comments if you were lucky enough to try this Frappuccino and how was your experience like? Was it good or bad? A lot of people have been saying it's quite disgusting even though it's cute, but I choose to believe it's delicious. <laughs> it actually tastes like unicorns in my dreams. I hope you liked this video. If you want, please follow me on social media. Thank you so much for watching. Have a very, very lovely day. Mwah.